Self practice 7.3, questions number 1. The diagram on the right shows the positions of two football players, P and Q. The coordinates of player P and Q are 4, 6 and 40, 45 respectively. Player P wants to kick the ball to player Q, but the ball lands at two-thirds the distance of the straight lines toward player Q from player P. Determine the coordinates of the ball when it touches the surface of the field. So based on the information of the 2 over 3 here, this means the distance from P to Q is divided into three equal parts. And from player P to the positions of where the ball is landed, this will equal to two equal parts. And from the ball to the player Q, this will be equal to one part. So let's say I label the positions of the ball here as R. So the ratio PR to RQ will be equal to two to one. So to find the coordinates of the point R, it will be 2 times 40 plus 1 times 4 and divide by the total ratio which is 2 plus 1. And 2 times 45 plus 1 times 6 and divide by 2 plus 1. So this will equal to 84 over 3 and 96 over 3 so this will equal to 28 32 so the coordinate r here will be 28 32 questions number two the diagram on the right shows the plans of a straight highway between two towns a and b on the cartesian plan an engineer wants to build two rest houses between the two towns such that the two rest houses divide the road into three parts of equal distance. Determine the coordinates of the two rest houses. So here let us divide the line segment AB here into three equal parts. So let's say this is the positions of the rest house number one. So let's say I label this as C. And this will be the positions of the rest house 2. And let's say I label this as D. So first to find the coordinate of the rest house 1. So the ratio AC, this will be equal to 1. And from C to the town B, this will be equal to 2. So here the coordinate C will be 1 times 5 plus 2 times negative 4 then divide by the total ratio which is 2 plus 1 and 1 times 2 plus 2 times 5 divide by the total ratio so this will equal to negative 3 divided by 3 and 12 divided by 3 so simplify this you will get negative 1 and 4 so that will be the coordinate of point C. So to find the coordinate of the rest house number 2, which is I label D here. So the ratio from A to D, this will equal to 2. And from D to B, this is equal to 1. So this will be 1 times negative 4 plus 2 times 5 over the total ratio. And... 1 times 5 plus 2 times 2 over 2 plus 1. So this will equal to 6 over 3 and 9 over 3. So simplify this both. Then the coordinate of the D will equal to 2, 3. Questions number 3. The diagram on the right shows the positions of two ducklings H and K on the Cartesian plan. Given the coordinates of duckling H are negative 3, negative 2, and the coordinates of duckling K are 6, 10. The two ducklings walk toward each other with different velocities and meet at point L. The velocity of duckling H is twice the velocity of duckling K. A. Step the ratio HL to LK. As the velocity of the duckling H is twice, this means the duckling H is moving faster and the distance covered by the duckling H is also going to be twice the distance covered by the 
duckling k. So this means the ratio HL is going to be twice the ratio LK. So HL will be equal to 2 and LK will be equal to 1. Questions B. Find the distance of duckling K from its original positions when duckling K meets duckling H. So here we want to find the distance of point K to point L. So first we're going to find the coordinate of point L. So it will be 2 times 6 plus 1 times negative K divided by the total ratio which is 2 plus 1. And 2 times 10 plus 1 times negative 2 divided by 2 plus 1. So this will equal to 9 over 3 and 18 over 3. So simplify this, the coordinate L will be 3 and 6. So to find the distance LK, it will be square root of, using the X coordinate, 6 minus 3 square plus 10 minus 6 square for the Y coordinate. This will equal to square root 25. So the distance LK will equal to 5 units.